Today, we will answer a math challenge given by one of our followers. And the question goes like this. Evaluate the summation of k plus 1 cubed over k factorial from k equals 0 up to infinity. Pause this video right now and see if you can answer this question. Because I will show you two different methods to answer this in 3, 2, 1. Alright. By the way, this question is suggested by one of our followers, but I know the source of this question, so I will put the link on the description of this video. Alright, by the way, I will solve this using two different methods. The first one is my approach using binomial expansion and the concept of E. This is quite long. And of course, the shortcut using the method on their page, so the source of this question, so using derivatives and the concept of E raised to the power of x. So now, let's begin with my approach using the binomial expansion and the concept of E. So to answer this, we will use the concept of E. So we know E is equivalent to the summation of 1 over k factorial from k equals 0 up to infinity. So we will use this concept to answer this question. So let's get our summation. And what we're going to do is to expand k plus 1 raised to the power of 3. So this is just k cubed plus 3k squared plus 3k plus 1. Now using the concept of similar fraction, we can rewrite this as k cubed over k factorial plus 3k squared over k factorial plus 3k over k factorial plus 1 over k factorial, which is the summation of 1 over k factorial from k equals 0 up to infinity simply equivalent to just e. Now, let's focus on this result. Now, the problem in this setup is we need to get the value of the summation of k over k factorial from k equals 0 up to infinity, k squared over k factorial, and k cubed over k factorial. So, let's begin with the summation of k over k factorial from k equals 0 up to infinity. So, how do we evaluate this sum? So first, let's expand this. So we have 0 over 0 factorial plus 1 over 1 factorial and so on and so forth. 0 over 0 factorial, this is just 0. 1 over 1 factorial is 1. And we can rewrite this, the rest, as the summation of k over k factorial from k equals to f to infinity. Now, why we do that, we will see later on. So now, Let's use the concept of n factorial because n factorial, we can rewrite this as n multiplied by n minus 1 factorial. We will use this identity a lot. All right? Now, k factorial, we can rewrite this as k multiplied by k minus 1 factorial. We can eliminate this k over k. This is just 1. Now, from here, take note. If this is k equals 0 up to infinity, if k is 0, if we start with k equals 0, 0 minus 1 factorial is negative 1 factorial. And we don't have any value for negative 1 factorial. Alright? So, we rewrite in this format. Because now, if we start with k equals 2, we get 1 over 1 factorial, plus 1 over 2 factorial, plus 1 over 3 factorial, and so on and so forth. And also take note that e is equivalent to 1 over 0 factorial, plus 1 over 1 factorial, and so on and so forth. And 1 over 0 factorial, we know this is just 1. Now subtract 1 on both sides. To get the value of this expression, and we know this is just e minus 1. So, the summation of 1 over k minus 1 factorial from k equals 2 to infinity simply equivalent to e minus 1. Now simplify 1 plus e minus 1. Positive 1 and negative 1 is just 0, so this is just e. So the summation of k over k factorial from k equals 0 up to infinity is also e. Now using this concept, we can now evaluate this 3 times the summation of k over k factorial from k equals 0 up to infinity. This is just 3 times e. Now 3e plus e, this is just 4e. Now let's focus on this result. And from here, let's evaluate the summation of k squared over k factorial from k equals to 0 up to infinity. Now first, let's expand this. 
and 0 squared over 0 factorial. This is just 0. 1 squared over 1 factorial is 1. 2 squared over 2 factorial is 2, and so on and so forth. Now, 0 plus 1 plus 2 is 3. And the rest, we can rewrite this as the summation of k squared over k factorial from k equals 3 up to infinity. And we can replace this with this value. Now from here, let's just again the definition of n factorial. So k factorial, we can rewrite this as k multiplied by k minus 1 factorial. Cancel out 1k, this is just 1. Now, on the numerator, let's subtract 1 and add 1, or just add 0. And let's split this using the concept of similar fraction. So this is just the summation of k minus 1 over k minus 1 factorial from k equals 2 up to infinity, plus the summation of 1 over k minus 1 factorial from k equals 3 up to infinity. And from here, what we're going to do is to focus on this one, because we can expand this as k minus 1 multiply by k minus 2 factorial and cancel out k minus 1 and k minus 1. This is just 1. And now, we can evaluate this. First, expand this summation. So we have 1 over 1 factorial plus 1 over 2 factorial plus 1 over 3 factorial and so on and so forth. And this one is simply 1 over 2 factorial plus 1 over 3 factorial plus 1 over 4 factorial and so on and so forth. Now, a while ago, we know E is equivalent to 1 over 0 factorial plus 1 over 1 factorial and so on and so forth. So this is just E minus 1. On the other hand, this is just E minus 2. So the value of the summation of k squared over k factorial from k equals 0 up to infinity is this expression. Now simplifying this, 3 minus 1 minus 2 is 0. So this is just E plus E or simply equal to 2E. Now, using this concept, we cannot evaluate this three times the summation of k squared over k factorial from k equals 0 up to infinity. So this is just 3 times 2e. And 3 times 2e is 6e. 6e plus 4e, this is just 10e. Now, let's evaluate the summation of k cubed over k factorial from k equals 0 up to infinity. 0 cube over 0 factorial is 0, 1 cube over 1 factor is 1, 2 cube over 2 factor is 4, and we can rewrite this as 5 plus the summation of k cube over k factorial from k equals 3 up to infinity. All right. Next, k cube over k factorial. k factorial, we can rewrite this as k times k minus 1 factorial again. Cancel out k. So we have k squared over k minus 1 factorial. And then, on k squared, let's subtract 1 and add 1, or simply add 0. Now, using similar fractions, split this up. And from here, notice k squared minus 1 can be factored as k minus 1 multiplied by k plus 1. And k minus 1 factorial, we can expand this as k minus 1 multiplied by k minus 2 factorial. Next, cancel out k minus 1. This is just 1. And then, what we're going to do on the numerator, k plus 1, subtract 3, then add 3. Now, what is the reason? We will see later on. But for now, we need some space for this. Because we need to split this summation into two summations like this. Because k minus 1 minus 3 is k minus 2. Now, k minus 2 factorial, we can expand this again as k minus 2 times k minus 3 factorial. Cancel out k minus 2. This is just 1. And now, this expression is equivalent to this 3 summation. So we can now evaluate this. So let's focus on this result. Now, Let's expand the summation of 1 over k minus 3 factorial from k equals 3 up to infinity. So we have 1 over 0 factorial plus 1 over 1 factorial plus 1 over 2 factorial. This one, this summation is 3 times the quantity 1 over 1 factorial plus 1 over 2 factorial and so on and so forth. And this summation is 1 over 2 factorial plus 1 over 3 factorial and so on and so forth. Now, this is just e. This is 3 times e minus 1. 
and this is e minus 2. So, the value of the summation of k cube over k factorial from k equals 0 up to infinity simply equivalent to 5 times e times 3 times e minus 1 plus e minus 2. Distribute 3, we have 3e minus 3. Simplify, 5 minus 3 is neg positive 2, minus 2 is 0. e plus 3e plus e is 5e. And using this concept, we can now evaluate this because we know this is just 5e. And 5e plus 10e is 15e. And that is the answer to this question. Therefore, the summation of k plus 1 cube over k factorial from k equals to 0 to infinity simply equivalent to 15e. Now, this is our first solution. This is my approach. Now, the second approach is the approach that you can see on their page. So, you can visit the page of LADS to see those kind of mathematical question and his solution. Alright, so let's begin with his solution. So the concept of derivative and the concept of e raised to the power of x. Because we know e raised to the power of x is equivalent to the summation of x raised to the power of n over n factorial from n equals to 0 up to infinity. So we use this concept to answer this question. But instead of using n, we use k. So e raised to the power of x is equivalent to the summation of x raised to the power of k over k factorial from k equals 0 up to infinity. Now, how do we use this information to evaluate the summation of k plus 1 cube over k factorial from k equals 0 up to infinity? So here's the shortcut. First, multiply both sides by x. So we have x times x raised to the power of k becomes x raised to the power of k plus 1. And on the right-hand side, we have x multiplied by e raised to the power of x. Next, what we're going to do is to take the derivative on both sides. So if we take the derivative on both sides, we will use power rule in this part, and this is product rule. So this becomes k plus 1 times x raised to the power of k. We have k plus 1 minus 1 is k, all over k factorial because k is constant, equals product rule, x times the derivative of e raised to x is e raised to the power of x, plus e raised to the power of x times the derivative of x, this is just 1. Now, what we're going to do here is to get the common factor e raised to the power of x. So, I have x plus 1 multiplied by e raised to the power of x. Now, let's focus on this result. And again, what we're going to do is to multiply again both sides by x. So, the left-hand side becomes x raised to the power of k plus 1 again. And we have here x squared plus x times e raised to the power of x because we multiply both sides by x. And again, take the derivative on both sides. So the right-hand side becomes a summation of k plus 1 squared times x raised to the power of k over k factorial from k equals 0 up to infinity. And the right-hand side becomes x squared plus x times e raised to x plus e raised to x times the derivative of x squared plus x, which is 2x plus 1. Now, factor out e raised to the power of x. Now, combine like terms, x plus 2x is 3x. And now, let's focus on this result. For the last time, multiply both sides by x, and then take the derivative on both sides. So there you have it. We have k plus 1 cubed times x raised to the power of k over k factorial from k equals to 0 up to infinity equals e raised to x times x cubed plus 3x squared plus x plus e raised to x times the derivative of this. We have 3x squared plus 6x plus 1. Now, factor out e raised to the power of x and combining like terms, we have x cubed plus 6x squared plus 7x plus 1 multiplied by e raised to the power of x. Now, we will use this format. And let's focus on this result. We will stop at this point because we have now k plus 1 cubed over k factorial. All right? And the last step that we need to do is to set x equals 1. Because if x equals 1, x raised to the power of k is 1. This x cubed is 1. This e raised to x is just e. This x squared is still 1. This is also 1. So, 
this is the summation of k plus 1 cube over k factorial from k equals 0 up to infinity. And this is what we want to find. This is what we want to evaluate. And it is equivalent to e multiplied by 1 plus 6 plus 7 plus 1. 1 plus 6, 7 plus 7 is 14 plus 1 is 15. So simplify this, we have 15 e. And that is the answer to this question. And this is the shortcut, rather. Therefore, if we want to evaluate the summation of k plus 1 cubed over k factorial from k equals 0 up to infinity, we get an answer of 15 e. And as always, we are done.